What's up guys, my name is Alex. Today, we have a pretty special video. This is on a Halloween 1 Michael Myers mask. Uh, it's probably been a little while since I've done a Michael Myers mask unboxing on the channel. The last one I can really remember was, it was probably my Night Owl Creep that I did in maybe 2018. Alex, and today, I'm gonna be doing a very quick and special unboxing Oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my god. Hold on. So, uh, that was quite a few years ago. Basically, what we have here is a 1978 Michael Myers mask done by 82201 Studios. Sculpt is by Murder for Fun Masks. Uh, and I think it was called like a Lampkin Lane Lunatic or something like that. Not too familiar with it, but it was a pretty dope mask. I found the mask originally on eBay and I contacted the seller and I tried to see if I could talk him down. Basically, he told me to hit him up on Instagram. I did and I ended up getting this for like $15 cheaper. So it was really nice of him. He covered the shipping and everything. Really appreciate it. And uh, I'll give this mask a really good home. Let's get into this unboxing on the... Halloween 1978 Michael Myers mask. Not too sure if this has any relevance at all, but it says M Y maybe M4 M Y F 78. So I don't know if that means anything. Oh shit! I really hope I didn't just cut into the mask. No, I didn't. That was not expected. But that knife that I was using is pretty dulled down. All right, we're just tearing it open at this point. So, oh, I see it in there. It is upside down. That is the money shot. I'm going to let you guys get the first look. Oh, I feel it. What else we got in there? Oh, let's put that. Ooh, ooh that smells pretty, pretty strange. Uh, what does this say? Look at that. Death has come to your little town. That is freaking dope, dude. And then right there, 82201 Studios since 2021. Hell yeah, dude. This is the first time I've ever really gotten a business card or whatever. But that is so dope. I'm definitely going to be displaying it with this. Because, fuck yeah, that's so dope. Okay, I dropped the mask on the floor and give you guys the first look. Packaged really, really well. All right. How do you guys like it? Is it dope? Is it sick? Wow, okay. So he's a little squished right now. Dude, this thing is sick. Somebody else's sculpt, but he did the finish on it. And damn, that thing looks freaking cool. Let's see what this has on the inside here. Right off the bat, I do want to say... This is really not what I was expecting, to be honest. Uh, first thoughts, I'd say that the finish is a little strange. I say the pictures made it look a little bit different, almost kind of like it had a castle stretch. Um, this seems kind of wide, and you know, it's definitely the same mask because everything really lines up. But it's just really strange to me because I really like this is my first time really handling like an independent sculpt Myers mask within you know last couple of years. Uh, looks like it would fit my head, maybe a little small. Um, but this hair, that is what I knew I had to do. I knew that when you know while purchasing this, that I would need to fix it up a little bit because I'm gonna be honest. This hair really not the greatest. It's like spray painted and it's tough and it's hard i want this thing to be like you know i want to be able to style this hair this hair is just all matted and everything so maybe i'll uh, i'll try to brush it or whatever but i definitely don't want to rehair i think that's pretty cool uh all right so another thing was it has this like shiny silverish finish over it which i don't know if it picks it up but i have this light here let's turn that light off you can see that silver finish all over the mask and uh i don't know it's a little strange but i'm gonna put this thing on I have my coveralls on already oh yeah here you go right there lampkin lane lunatic on the back there okay 
Yeah, it's got a lot of talcum powder in there. I'm going to wipe some of that. Okay. Ooh. Here, let's turn this light off. Wow, that thing is pretty dope. It actually fits me really well. Uh, honestly, it doesn't bother me that much. You know, the look of it. I love the sculpt. I think it looks great. But I know just to make it to my liking because I'm a little picky with these types of things. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to comb out this hair. Try to like get it to somewhat normal shape. Um, I'm going to probably spray paint it a little bit brown because this is like silver. Like some areas it's kind of silver. Um, and then I definitely kind of want to make this a dirtier, some, somewhat, somewhat dirtier. Um, and then maybe, yeah, I want to enlarge these nose holes a little bit. But other than that, I'm not going to modify it too much. I think whatever modifications I do, I'll make a video on it. But, uh, other than that, guys, that's really it for this video. I want to give a huge shout out to you, 82201 Studios. Huge thank you for this, man. That's all I got for you guys today. Hope you guys enjoy.